so this is happening. And then Butch is going to take it straight across to, as he calls it, the covered wagon. Then he, sorry for the sun, guys. He got these dug in today. So the railroad ties to hold back the hill in between the garden beds. Then we have our arch trellis with a railroad tie. Not too much uh, bare dirt here. So if we need to put another one up there, if it starts to pile up, then we'll just stack another railroad tie on top of it and put a piece of rebar down through them. But got all the beds completed. We have one more to go and then we're waiting on my brother-in-law to get here next week with his pickup truck. And we'll get three truck bed loads full of three-year-old compost from a farmer. Then we have a little bit of hay left, but everybody in all the beds have hay in them. They have logs, hay, working on the second worm bucket. So that one's ready. Just need some dirt to bury it before I put any kitchen scraps in it for the worms. The one inside the covered wagon is full of worms. They're all coming out. Then the fence, or it used to. So now it's going to go across over this direction. And then I got four potatoes in each of the self-watering buckets. This one needs more um, soil, but that'll have to wait. We are getting there slowly but surely. Have a lot of baby plants inside to... Uh, Put in the garden and lots more that I want to plant but right now I have nowhere to put them and since this little guy doesn't leave my side <laughs> uh, that's the reason why we can extend the backyard but he'll still be fenced in he just can't go past this point and then extra parking right there we will lay some more gravel so It'll be an adventure-filled uh, spring and summer. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and share. Here's the view from the top of the hill. Yes, I have red paint. Y'all remember a few months ago when I was planting the experimental garlic? Yeah. And then this is all some garlic that neighbor had in his fridge that had sprouted roots and so he brought it over here to see if I could make them live and they are this plastic didn't do what we thought it was going to do which was uh, kill everything underneath it nope it's all just creating a little greenhouse for it so we will be laying some ground cover down inside there up underneath the cage but here's the greenhouse and my dirt mixing station and already got some things up here everything else is doing good staying in dormancy now it's time to close it up for the evening sun's going down